So I was really afraid to take HRT. My mom is a breast cancer survivor. I'm a research scientist and I spent many years as an oncology cancer researcher. I believed the Women's Health Initiative because oddly enough, not only was my mom a participant, she was one of the 161,000 women that were in the Women's Health Initiative study, but I also was a research scientist at the institution that released that data. So I really had a vested interest in believing the data. So they scared me. They had some really scary results about uh, breast cancer and blood clots and strokes. That was the big part of my hesitation when I started to get the hot flashes and the weight gain. And as I said earlier, I really started to do my research and talk to people. And what I realized was that the study that came out in 2004 not only has been dismissed by many scientists, but it's actually been rolled back by the very scientists that uh, presented the data. They admitted that they prematurely released the data. And I just want to give one specific story about the Women's Health Initiative. In the groups of women that they put together, normally you call it a cohort. There's 161,000, so many different cohorts. But one of the cohorts that they had was on hormone replacement therapy. And in that cohort, they had women that were 40 and they had women that were 80 in the same group. They already had heart disease. They are hormone deficient for over 30 years. They were put on hormone replacement therapy, had a stroke, had something happen to them. And then it was attributed to hormone replacement therapy when in actuality they were 79 years old and hormone deficient for way too long. The risks of these medications are risks that we took into account with your onboarding. And so when you gave us your medical history, there were certain things that were red flags for us. One was if you personally, you yourself, not your mom, but you yourself had cancers, certain kinds of cancer like breast cancer. What were the other risks, Mike? Um, stroke, PIA, heart attack, or significant heart disease. Honestly, there are some women with some of these risk factors that with a really careful analysis and a long conversation, it might be worth the risk for them to take it. Because of the platform we're on, I want to be extra careful. And so there have been patients where I've said, you know, quarter, sort of borderline, I don't think this is the right platform for you. You really want to be able to sit down with somebody, you talk face to face, they can do lab work, they can look at all your old records. And that's not really something we can do here. So we sort of cherry pick. So if you've been prescribed this, um, it's really safe for you because um, those are the patients, you know, we're, we're trying to be extra, extra careful. The last thing I want to do is hurt anybody. The screening questions are designed to be really, you know, pretty tight. Um, and even the borderline, you know, cases, you know, I don't think this is the right way to do it. Um, as far as the, the risks, they're, they're actually pretty small. Um, and especially, you know, pre-screen patients. So as I said before, women that start, the, that are appropriate candidates to start hormone replacement therapy for 60 live longer than women that don't have hormone replacement therapy. So in the whole balance of things, you're, you're more likely to live longer than if you never took it at all. So even though there's little teeny risks, the overall big picture is you actually lower your risk of dying um, with hormone replacement therapy. And on top of that, you feel better along the way. The breast cancer risk is the one I think people are usually most afraid of. And really, it's sort of questionable. There's some data that it might increase breast cancer, but there's some other, some other data that's been coming out recently that says it actually in appropriate patients starting early may actually decrease the risk, risk of breast cancer. The right answer on the test right now is that it, it would slightly increase your risk of breast cancer, but it also decreases your risk of other cancers like colon cancer and um, uterine cancer um, if you're taking it appropriately. If taken before 60, decreases your risk of heart attack. So overall in the balance of things, the, the big scary risks, you're more likely to be healthy on it than off of it. Um, side exactly. effects is a different thing. And most of the side effects are um, sort of only at the, at the beginning when people start the medication as the body's adjusting to it. Um, sometimes there'll be a little bit of acne, which should clear up. Uh, sometimes it'll trigger a period for people, um, but that shouldn't be ongoing. Um, kind of the first month or so, maybe some spotting or, or an abnormal period. Mm -hmm. um, but that should be sort of a one-time thing. Um, some bloating at the beginning um, and water weight, uh, we sort of talked about it already, but that um, should come off pretty quickly. Um, and occasionally, haven't had too much problems with this, but people have a little bit of nausea as their body gets used to the medicine, mm -hmm. um, particularly with the pills, much more so than the, than the cream or the patches.